History is going to be made this weekend as NASCAR's top drivers will race for the very first time on a temporary racetrack. And that track is built inside the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. And here are some photos of the Coliseum. But come race time, things will look very different here over the years. This is where the Trojans play. Our Brett Baldeck is live outside Uptown's NASCAR Hall of Fame with a look at how this temporary track was made. Good morning, Brett. Good morning, Ann Wyatt and Jason. So this track is only a quarter mile in length, which is pretty short because it was essentially paved in the area that most football fields have a running track around it. The LA Coliseum opened back in 1923 and it has hosted two Olympic games. So there is a lot of history there, but NASCAR had to uh, play a fine line between uh, preserving history while also building a temporary racetrack. The clash at the Coliseum has never been done before and is the brainchild of NASCAR executives. After months of discussion, the race was officially announced on September 14th, 2021. The track inside the LA Coliseum is temporary. With just a football field to show at the time, NASCAR created a mock-up with iRacing. Two months later, and ground was officially broken. 130,000 square feet of plywood was laid down to protect the football field before 9,200 cubic yards of sand was brought in. Finally, the asphalt was put down to create the quarter mile racetrack. Work was completed in a little over a month on January 28th, just in time for the first of its kind event this weekend. I think there's going to be a lot of guys going to some great lengths, myself included, uh, to get myself into the show. With the event happening at a football stadium, there is an analogy we can use. The race is a non-points event, similar to the NFL's Pro Bowl, but the desire to win remains the same. I think it's great to uh, have events like this when it's, um, you know, when it's really just about the fans and trying to put on a good race and hopefully, and for pride for the teams to try to win. The race could be similar to what we see at North Carolina's own Bowman Gray Stadium. After all, that's where NASCAR tested cars for this event, but testing was only one car on the track. Imagine more than 20 battling for the win. And am I okay with getting wrecked? No. Am I okay with getting moved out of the way? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna be happy about it, but I only have to be okay with it if I'm gonna do it. So it's estimated that NASCAR has spent well over $1 million to build this temporary racetrack. And there is another football analogy we can use this Sunday. There is a halftime show and Pitbull will be performing at, at the LA Coliseum. He also owns a NASCAR team himself and coverage of the Bush Light Clash at the Coliseum is this Sunday starting at 3 p.m. right here on Fox Charlotte. Back to you guys. Mr. Worldwide. Okay, <laughs> listen, I do have a question, oh. Brett. That was supposed to be Pitbull, by the way. Someone's <laughs> supposed out there going, to be. what's he talking about? <laughs> uh, so, how, Brett, how do they <laughs> focus? How do they get, uh, how do they plan to return the Coliseum back to normal when the race is actually over with? Yeah, so they're going to obviously, they're going to rip up the racetrack, take down all the walls. The reason they put down plywood and plastic was to protect the field as much as they can. And keep in mind, we talked about they have hosted two Olympic Games at the LA Coliseum. Well, they will host a third in 2028, and NASCAR is not yet an Olympic sport, so they cannot keep the track there. That's why it's temporary.